Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I'm here in a very breezy garden here. It's quite breezy in Blackpool today, a little bit on the wild side. Anyway, I want to talk to you in this video about the autumnal equinox. It happened yesterday, September the 22nd. Now on the autumnal equinox, what, what a lot of people say is you have equal day and equal night as the northern hemisphere moves towards winter and the southern hemisphere moves towards the summer but it's not quite as simple as that in fact we don't get equal day and night until saturday the 25th we don't get equal day and night until three days after the autumnal equinox or three days before the spring equinox i'll talk about that a bit later on but anyway i went out yesterday on Blackpool Promenade and it was just as windy as what it is now I tried to do a video but it was absolutely hopeless I couldn't record I couldn't even hear myself think never mind try to talk to the camera so what I wanted to do was I wanted to try and describe where the Sun sets on the autumnal equinox so the Sun rises due east for everybody on earth and it sets due west so everyone on earth gets to see this the sunset in the same direction but we don't all get equal day and equal night it's kind of complicated i'll talk a bit about it later on but what i'm going to do now is uh, i went like i say i went onto the promenade yesterday just to film the sun setting out towards the west and we'll have a little look at that video now and i'll talk you through some of that okay so here's a video i shot yesterday and the first scene is just showing you the north south coast of Blackpool can you see just look at this vista we've got it's absolutely amazing this is the view that we get looking out over the Irish Sea from Blackpool and it's a great way to explain the solstices and the equinoxes so we're looking towards Blackpool Tower here to the south and as I pan the camera around when I get to a right angle from the promenade this is where the sun sets on the equinoxes on the spring and the autumn equinox you see it's setting out there due west now I'm just showing you this street here this street runs east west almost perfectly so you'd see the sun rise somewhere up that that way there and now at sunset we get to see it set due west we'll come back to that street in a minute I'll show you a bit more of the sun setting beyond that street uh, a bit later on in the video but there you see the sun setting in the west now in the summer height of summer the sun sets way up here to the northwest that's where it would be on the summer solstice it would be right up this direction here but of course we are now on the autumnal equinox and it's set in here where it would also set on the spring equinox as well but the difference with the autumnal equinox is that as we go towards winter the sun is going to track this way towards the southwest it's an apparent motion it's all to do with the motion of the earth around the sun anyway i've come up the road now to show you this street now and we're looking down this street now like i say it runs almost perfectly east west and we get to see the sun setting right at the bottom of the street dead center if i was to come back to this street in about 10 days time the sun would set way off to the left you wouldn't see it right at the bottom of the street and also the same if I was 10 days early the sun would be setting to the right it would probably be blocked by that building on the right hand side so that shows you the difference in the times so there you go I hope that video kind of explained a little bit about where the sun rises and where it sets at different times of the year here in Blackpool and, and I think it's just a really good place to explain it here because we get such a unobstructed view of the horizon there's no trees or buildings or anything like that to block the way so I think the coast looking out over the Irish Sea is a really good way to explain that anyway I just want to talk a little bit more about the equilux and now that is the day when we actually get equal day and equal night 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night now it's all it's very very complicated and it's mostly to do with the size of the sun the sun is quite big it's about half a degree and it takes a while to rise and it also takes a while to set now while it's doing that it's actually lighting up the sky so on the equator you don't actually get equal day and that there's never an equal day and night on the equator the equator always gets a longer day 
the night. But when you're at a different latitude, like where I am, we're at a middle latitude here. It's all to do with the angles and, and like I said, the sun not being a point. And we only get equal day three days after the autumnal equinox. That's when it happens for us. And also three days before the spring equinox. It's very complicated. I'll probably have to talk a bit more about it in a live stream. It's quite hard to do in a video like this without actually showing you a load of diagrams, which I can't really do. So there you go. That's the equilux. That's when you get 12 hours of day and 12. I'll just show you on the screen now the photographer's ephemeris app, which I use to find out when we actually get equal day and equal night. And as you can see on, it, on here, it shows you all the angles of the sun, the sunrise and the sunset. And it also shows you down here that the sun rises at 7.03 in the morning and it sets at 19.03 at night so that means we have a 12 hour day and a 12 hour night so there you go i hope this video was a little bit of help to you and and hopefully you can understand a little bit more about the equinox and the equilux uh, like i say it's very complicated i can't go into too much detail in this video but hopefully in a live stream i'll be able to talk a little bit more about it look out for some live streams this winter i'll be doing regular live streams on a sunday so look out for those and I will see you again on the next video.